We are cooking in the kitchen this morning for some Irish Eggs Benedict with Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N. I am so excited, and here's your trick. Try to talk like an Irish person. Well, I'm not good at that. I'm oh. going to talk. I can only talk like myself. I can only be myself, Mary. And on this day, though, we're going to cook a little Irish-American food, though. All right. So what exactly goes into Irish Eggs Benedict? Well, it's sort of a uh, mashup of two culinary giants, Eggs Benedict mm -hmm. and corned beef and cabbage. Love. So... This is a great way. Corned beef and cabbage is the number one Irish American meal on St. Patrick's Day. So instead of doing that, because I'm sure everyone's already got their strategy for this, yeah. this is a little bit of a Sunday brunch leftovers for your for your corned beef and cabbage. Now we actually can. We have St. Patrick's Day on the weekend, That's so right. everyone's going to need a brunch after their uh, Saturday activities. I would think so. I would think so. <laughs> so tell me about what ingredients we need. Well, the, the traditional eggs Benedict will have. You know, a, a, a bread base and have some Canadian bacon. Usually it's mm -hmm. an English muffin, Canadian bacon, poached eggs, and then hollandaise sauce. Instead, we're going to do some Irish soda bread. Mm -hmm. And then instead of the Canadian bacon, we're going to do some corned beef, okay. some poached eggs, and then a hollandaise sauce, traditional hollandaise sauce, except we're going to put a little grain mustard in there. Ooh, yeah, spice it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. And then we're going to do some home fries, which is your general, you know, potatoes, onions, etc. But we're going to throw in a little sweet and sour cabbage in there also. And you made the sweet and sour cabbage, correct? Oh, absolutely. Correct? absolutely. How did absolutely. you do that? Chop up a little green cabbage, let it marinate in a little bit of vinegar, sugar, and some pickling spices, some juniper berries in there. Strain it, saute it, season it with a little salt. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Well, yeah. it's going to sound really tasty. We're definitely going to look forward to making this, and we're going to start chopping everything up. Back over to you. Chop, chop. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N, and we are making Irish Eggs Benedict. Yes, sir. What's going on over here? Well, one of the most essential ingredients in any Benedict is hollandaise sauce. Okay. And I think that... Hollandaise sauce can be a little intimidating to make at home. C can you tell me what hollandaise sauce is yes. first? Yes, please. It's really just two ingredients. All right. It's egg yolks and butter. That's it? From there you season. Okay. Right. Okay. So the tricky part is making sure that you don't break the sauce. It's Imagine taking a glass and pouring water and oil into it. The two will separate. Oh, the two will separate. Okay. So this is sort of doing the same thing. And in order to make it connect, Can you, you have to emulsify it. So the egg yolks are going to handle that. So right now I'm doing what's called tempering them. I have them over this little pot of semi-warm water. And it's on really low. Really low. Really just low. Just to keep it warm. If you got it hot, it's going to it's gonna boil with bacon. You're going to have scrambled eggs in your oh, sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, we don't want that. Alright, so mm -hmm. I've got this butter here. It doesn't look like butter because it's totally clarified. Is that just regular butter? Yeah, I boiled out the milk solids. Okay. So when you, you know, that's why it's nice and transparent like mm -hmm. that. So we're going to go in with this here. Now the butter's warm. Again, if the butter's too hot, it's just going to cook those egg yolks and it's going to scramble it. It's this simple, Will. It's this simple. And a lot happened, actually, since the beginning of the show. I ended up searing some of that great corned beef off over here. Which looks great. Yep. So that's going to be in, on our Benedict in place of Canadian bacon. Okay. I've got our home fries sort of working over here All also. Right. A little potato, a little onion, and we're going to go in some cabbage there in a little bit. But you see how this is like holding up and getting yeah. thick? And how much are we going to put in? I mean, how do we know that this is really, you know, two I mean, to one. Done. Two, two to one. one. Okay, yep. two one to one. part egg yolk to two parts butter. So if you've got, you know, two egg yolks, you're going to want about four tablespoons of butter. And this is going to thicken up? It's thickening right now. This you can see it thickening up? right before our very eyes. And to make it, uh, uh, to add a little bit of that Irish American into there, yes. we're going to put a little bit of whole grain mustard also. Ooh. Lemon and whole grain mustard. Fantastic. Yeah, and this is going to go beautifully on top of all this. All this is going to come together so gorgeous. And I'm glad this is working out well. Okay. Because that had potential. It had, it had some risk potential to go today. really, really bad. We and it's a workout, Will. <laughs> it is. My arm is killing me right we now. We have our holiday sauce <laughs> ready to go. When we come back, we're going to mix it all together. In the meantime, back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Nick Raybar is with us. Avenue N is the restaurant. We're making Irish Eggs Benedict. Irish Eggs Benedict. And it smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. it, it is fantastic. Yeah. And it's such a, such a fun play on your traditional Eggs Benedict. Mm -hmm. And it's something different you can make, not on St. Patrick's Day, but the day after. Yes. Okay. You know, corned beef and cabbage is not as Irish as people think. It's more Irish-American. Oh, it is. Corned beef is very Irish. Okay. Right. But the corned beef and cabbage thing is the more meal. an American dish. Um, so it's very common on a St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day, but what do you do with it the next day? Are you sick of it? Have you, you had want enough? to eat it the same way? Have right. you had enough? Have you heard enough about it? This is a nice spin on this. So 
Right now, I've griddled off a little bit of this beautiful Irish soda bread. I bought it from my neighbors over at Seven Stars Bakery. Absolutely gorgeous. Great stuff there, mm -hmm. too, by yeah, the way. Really mm -hmm. great stuff. So I'm just going to put it as a foundation of the plate here, Will. Okay, so put that there. And that's yep. instead of the English muffin. Instead of the, the English muffin. Instead of the English muffin. Now, we've got this hollandaise here. Which is thickened up since, since it's we, beautiful. we last made it. It's yep. I'm going to have you put a little bit of lemon in. We'll okay. give that a roll. It'll loosen up some of those juices. Okay, Don't so trash the glass, <laughs> Will. Just... <laughs> Just a little bit, okay? You and see my cooking? It, squeeze it over that spoon right there. It'll keep the seeds from going out. Right, so we'll now, in the up. meantime, I've got these beautiful sort of home fry hash browns things working here. Mm -hmm. I caramelized some onions and a little bit of clarified butter. I put in a little bit of uh, potatoes, which I boiled intentionally to try to overboil them a little bit so they'll make a nice all gratin on the bottom. And we're going to add a little bit of our cabbage here. Okay. So put in about two tablespoons of that. Now you just said clarified butter. Clarified Can you clar butter. clarify what clarified butter is? I uh, will clarify. Okay. <laughs> what you do is you sort of boil. Now it's something you have to be really careful if you mm -hmm. do at home. Okay. You boil your butter mm -hmm. until it looks like it's almost clear, but the problem is sometimes you can easily burn it. Oof. It cooks out the milk solids, and you can skim them off, they'll float to the top, you sort of skim them off. And what that does is you can cook at higher temperatures with mm -hmm. your butter so it doesn't burn oh, in the pan. Oh, gotcha. So All I right. put a little bit of our cabbage in there. Go okay, ahead. Juice. I'm ready to uh, juice my lemons. Yep, juice your lemon. <laughs> now, you see how I've got Watch this it. sitting? Juice away, Will. What are you squeezing, yeah. man? So, you know, we got this here. Now that's perfect. See how it added that little oh, bit of wow. cup? Lightened so up. It lightened up just a little bit. We're going to put in a pinch of salt. <laughs> you know how I roll a salt. pinch of salt, all right? I know how to squeeze a lemon. A <laughs> pinch of salt. So we've got our cabbage in here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of green onions, because green anything, of course, makes it Irish. Yeah. Okay. Actually, its official color is blue. I looked it up. <laughs> oh, well, now I know. <laughs> now he knows. Live and learn. Now he knows. So I'll take that plate over there, Will. This one right here. Yep. We'll give this pass this to you. Okay. Yes, sir. And what we're going to do is we're going to go on with some of our corn beautiful beef. corned beef. Now, cor corned beef, when we're looking for corned beef, what, what are you looking for? I mean, I know, Great you know, question. Great question. It, it's tough this time of year. A lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, they're grabbing it and they're just taking it just to, to get it for the look day. Look for brisket. Brisket's what you want. Oh, okay. okay. So right. a brisket cut, look for it fully trimmed. Okay. And then you could take it home. You could crock pot it. Corny means, you know, basically it's preserved in salt. That's oh, pretty oh, much right, what that okay. means right there. Now, one last thing we're going to do to that hollandaise well. I'm going to ask you to stir it up. Put in a touch of grain mustard. Now, if you went out to go, as I said, I often just go out and get my corned beef and cabbage. Is this something you can make with the leftovers? Totally. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's the, the whole plan. That's okay. what we're doing here. That's this the plan. I because, two days in a row. Well, most people will have... No, no. Go, go to <laughs> Avenue N. Go to Avenue N. Avenue N, we do a great brunch, and I don't think that that's as commonly known as possible. We do tons of Benedicts, tons of very traditional uh, American fare specials. You would absolutely love it there. So if you're all cooked out, come see me at Avenue N. And he will, uh, Nick will take care of you. I will take great care of you. So we're going to go on with that. Mm -hmm. Put those eggs on. Now stay. You have brave hands to touch those hot eggs. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. They're, they're used to it. So now, Will, I'm going to take this here. Now look at how great that hollandaise came out. Looks good. Yeah, it is really good. And it good. looks yep, great now that spices. we put the, uh, you know, put the, the mustard in yes. there as well. It adds a little bit of, uh, of Ooh, something different. Good. A little kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does have a little kick and it adds a little bit of texture to it. But really, you know, mustard and corned beef absolutely go hand in hand together. And this is rare. You don't see a lot of this right here. Mary, jump back in that fridge right there. You're going to see a little special package of my Lucky Shamrocks. All right. Yep. Okay. okay so lucky shamrocks. Tell me He's again. He's got lucky shamrocks. We've got this they here. Right. Heading in there. Oh no! I I fibbed here. I got them back over here. Oh, we're over on this side. Come I got here, Will. Bring okay. me those shamrocks. I've got your shamrocks. There you Put go, some sir. of that there and give me some of these beautiful these shamrocks to make it official. Yeah. Look at those. Those are beautiful. Make it official. Put on a couple of it's these shamrocks. It's like it's corn leaves. All right. What's well, your lucky five. day? Today's our lucky five, day. Actually. Today's your lucky day. So look at how good that came out right there. We're talking about Irish eggs Benedict. I mean, any complaints? No and complaints here. No, I can't wait to try I'm it. Lucky I'm not eating it. You're going to eat about one minute. <laughs> we will take a look at it. Nick, thanks for coming in today. Well, Great having a pleasure. You Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. If you want this recipe, you can head to our website right now, WPRI.com.